This is Dave Smith versus Laura Loomer. So Laura Loomer, uh, kind of one of the more high-profile online MAGA surrogates, uh, having a debate with um, would-be libertarian candidate for president, Dave Smith, although it appears he's not going to do it, which is really unfortunate because his foreign policy is very, very good, and he's got just a real likable way about him. And uh, as you can see here, very, very good in a debate. So here he is at a zero-hedge debate. When Laura Loomer starts bringing up that, well, are there really any innocent Palestinians because they voted for Hamas? And so uh, isn't it OK to just kill as many of them uh, as we want? Listen to his answer for this. This was pretty epic. I love this video. People need to understand, right, that these are not they, these are not people trapped in some open air prison. OK, these are people who elected an Islamic terrorist organization to represent them. There are there are active polling measures taking place this week by Palestinian media, by Palestinian. These are Muslim organizations that are conducting polls that show that over 58 percent of the Palestinian population would elect Ishmael Haniyeh, the leader of Hamas, even after watching all the havoc that Hamas has 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 has, has brought. Right. And I'm not saying that there aren't innocent people. There are innocent people. But at what point in time do do the Palestinian people, right, if they want to claim to be innocent civilians, at what point do they have a responsibility to to restore or kind of get rid of the status quo? Because don't people well, in, in okay. all societies have a responsibility to challenge or question. overthrow governments get, if their governments that, are that not serving the great, people? That is such a great question. So let me just say this, okay? The United States of America in the last 20 years, okay, between the war in Afghanistan, the war in Iraq, which I think we can all probably agree were like just ridiculous catastrophes that we never should have fought. Let's also add in there the war, uh, Obama's, which I'm sure you'll agree with me about, Obama overthrowing Gaddafi in Libya and leading to the migrant crisis into Europe was an absolute disaster. Let's also throw in yeah. there the attempt, right. So and let's bringing all, in all yes, the okay. refugees okay. to okay. attack yes. Americans, yes. Hold on, yes. let me just finish my He's point. Smart. Let's He's smart. He's laying there a very good trap mm -hmm. because he yep. knows yep. if I invoke Obama, I'm going to yep. get you to agree yep. to the premise of my argument because right. she's a yep. Trump partisan so I was saying, you know, Obama yeah. overthrew Gaddafi that was terrible right yeah yeah I agree yeah. so really laying the trap very well and now here it comes attempted regime change war in Syria which we started that led to 500,000 people dying let's also throw in there the war in Yemen which we backed the Saudis fighting don't forget like the something, Arab Spring some, hold on <laughs> something else like 500,000 somewhere in that ballpark also died when you add up all of the numbers you're talking about millions and millions of dead innocent people what responsibility do you have? What responsibility do I have? What responsibility do you have? Are we fair targets now to be murdered because we haven't overthrown the status quo, as you just said? Why is it that we as Americans get to hold these standards against other nations, which we would never dream of imposing on ourselves? What, what are, you know, the question is always asked, What's Israel supposed to do? Don't they have a right to defend themselves? Do all of these countries that we've slaughtered innocent people in, do they have a right to defend themselves? Do they have a right to come over here and kill innocent civilians? I would say no. They don't have a right to come kill innocent civilians. You have political grievances with the government class, but it does not follow as Osama bin Laden or Bill Clinton or Barack Obama or George W. Bush would argue that it then follows that we can in it inflict this collective punishment against people. If we're going to be the better ones, if we're going to say you're the Islamists, but we're the civilized people, if we're going to represent the best tradition of Western civilization, then the point would be that we don't believe in any of that. We don't believe that you can target innocent men, women and children. Wow, that's perfectly done. Perfectly that is perfectly done, done, especially invoking because, uh, you know, this, these these conservatives tend to have a Douglas Murray kind of. Uh, romanticization of Western culture and its traditions. So to throw that in really puts her in a box. Exactly. No, really just expertly argued. And that point there, yeah, we hold all these other civilizations accountable for their leadership. Well, what if they did the same to us? What right. if they did the same to us? And the other brilliant part of that argument is for that reason, for that reason, we can acknowledge that October 7th was tragic because we don't think that ordinary people 
should be targets for violence. And I'm not saying innocent. Like I said, if you go to a music festival outside a concentration camp, there's something fucked up about you, right? But what Dave Smith is saying is just because there's something fucked up about you, you're probably indoctrinated into this fascist ideology. That's grounds to criticize you, but it's not grounds to murder you, right? Just like it's not grounds to murder the Palestinians because of who they voted for. So he right. just makes all of those points at once so well. And to lay the trap with Obama, Gaddafi, I mean, that guy's got chops, man. Like, he's got real chops. That was beautifully done. And with Laura Loomer, you're dealing with, when you deal with these Trump people like this, like, she's saying, oh, well, can we really call them innocent because they voted for Hamas? Like, at a certain point. Well, that's what the Israelis say. That's what the Israelis say. Absolutely. But at a certain point, I have to call bullshit on a lot of this. A lot of ordinary people, whether they are the the sort of libtards or the maga chuds right they suffer from the same core pathological uh mindset which is that for every villain in the world must exist a hero for every demon mm -hmm. must exist an angel and they just don't have the emotional maturity to understand that no actually in real life villains outnumber heroes by quite a bit the demons outnumber the angels by quite a bit. And so a lot of this rationalization for what's going on in Gaza right now doesn't come from the place of uh, actual, like an actual unbiased evaluation. It comes from a place of, well, Trump says we have to support Israel, and so I guess we have to support Israel. Now I have to come right. up with some sort of rationalization for that. That's why, right. I mean, I hate to use an overused term, but they are bootlickers. They are simps. On both sides, right. on right. on the sure. you know blue maga side and the red maga side, they're just sure. they cannot process a world in which heroes and villains do not exist in equal number. They they can't the, process that, and the, so as a defense mechanism, they are forced to root for one team over the other, and then they are forced to shape a narrative, however difficult, that allows them to root for one side in the hopes that that one side represents some sort of salvation we see a lot of that on the blue maga side but in a case like laura loomer you're dealing with a partisan actor who is i think driven by that same sort of i i hate to call it a disorder but it, it is it is it is an emotional sort of stuntedness you know that would lead you to have to see the world that way well see there's the thing with the maga people a lot of us on the left will say you know, as a rule, they're easier to uh, to talk to and to debate with. And I think part of the reason for that is we're very anti-establishment. We're very anti-institution. Um, and if you're going to choose to be MAGA, you probably are too, right? right? You probably, because the whole establishment, the whole media is against you, right? So you probably, so you're starting with a certain common ground with MAGA people that you're not with blue MAGA. With the red MAGA people, they tend to hate the same people for different reasons. And some of the same reasons, but some of them are different. And then you can proceed from there on disagreements about policy. But at least you're starting from the same premise of what the problems are. Right. For the most part. Um, so they're a little less uh, <laughs> cringe in that sense. But yeah that was masterfully done and you know something i kept thinking of watching the putin interview with uh, tucker um marcus aurelius how do you know a thing by what it does so we are such an indoctrinated people this idea that people you know are threats and these leaders are evil who killed all these people russia right who killed all these millions hundreds not tens, hundreds of millions of people we've killed in all of these conflicts. We fucking brought back slave markets in Libya with our fucking shenanigans, with our fucking militarism. That had the highest, what was it, the highest human development index of any African nation before Obama intervened. Now there are slave markets. Now there are slave markets. So who's the evil country with evil leadership russia china right. who the fuck has right. china killed i mean i'm not saying they haven't killed anybody but compared to us fucking amateurs the russians <laughs> peaceniks right 
hundreds of millions of people and where hundreds of millions it's you know i'm speaking of the rose it's the stalin thing one death is a tragedy a million deaths is a statistic the right. scale of the fucking horror that we have inflicted on the world since in the post world war ii period on vietnam cambodia iraq afghanistan these horrors that we syria libya these and we're going to talk about putin is evil putin is the threat putin is a threat to the world order not us them yeah <laughs> how, how exactly. do you how do you know a thing by what it does what do we do we overthrow governments and we slaughter civilians that's what we do so right. show us show me show me one of these supposed enemies of ours that even approaches our body count that even approaches it and maybe you'll have an argument so who who's the evil who's the evil who's the threat of course and that's that he touches on that too he touches on that too and just the idea that civilians or non-combatants um are fair play for violence i mean that is a terrorist ideology that's a terrorist ideology no matter what right. you think of their government you can't right. you cannot introduce into the game that civilians are fair play to be targeted with violence which is what laura loomer does there she says well right. the palestinians sure. voted for hamas so can complicit. we really say they're innocent no well what does that imply that implies that what's happening to them isn't so bad because they deserve it because their politics are bad you right. would never say that about americans you wouldn't say that about the israelis who died on october 7th you could i mean we've we've said a lot about them i don't think they mm -hmm. deserve to be killed for that non-combatants are not legitimate targets in war right and so if you're going to say the same if you're going to say that for israelis and for us here in the u.s you have to say that for the palestinians as well and that was the point he made so so well I mean, that was just beautiful well and he was smart not to get into i mean with her and to to put her in that kind of a trap he was smart not to get into what say we might get into well you know when you put people in prison eventually they're going to get behind a prison gang right exactly that that's a much easier thing for her to deflect that right. that framing yeah that was perfect yeah no really really well done excellent job dave smith please clap